before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are unfamiliar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes that range from literally every subject that you can think of. I personally have been taking classes on cooking because, you know, your girl's still getting back into it and I've been taking lots of classes on photography actually. And the classes on photography are based off of iPhone photography. So this really, really helps me for YouTube and Instagram because I'm trying to up that game, especially for you guys. So the current class I'm taking is called the iPhone food photography class and for stilling and shooting for Instagram. Basically this class just takes you through how to take food pictures. It's really, really cool. So just so you guys know, if you guys are interested, I do have a link in my description box. The first 1,000 people who watch this video and decide that they would like to get a free month of Skillshare can click on that link in my description box and it'll take you right to a free month. I've taken plenty of classes so far. Hopefully you can see those translate through my videos, but I've been taking, like I said, I've taken classes on cooking. I've taken classes on the iPhone photography. They have classes on Adobe, like literally anything that you can think of, there's probably a class on it. There's literally thousands of classes to choose from. So I just wanted to say one, thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. And two, definitely you guys go check it out because it is really, really cool. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie and today, well, first off, let me rewind. This is Balancing Life with Brie. And today I'm going to do a Shein Sheen Shine mm, haul for you guys. So this is all first impressions. I have all this jazz right here ready to go. So we're gonna see how I like it. So this, what I'm wearing right now, this is actually from Sheen. I'm gonna say Sheen, just so you know. But this is from Sheen. I know there's some like controversy about it, but for someone who is like mid-size slash plus size, it's basically the only place that I can find cute clothes that aren't $10 million, so. Just putting that out there, this entire order was $80. You literally can't mess with that. And I got stuff from dresses to tops to more flannels to little sets. So I'm just gonna get trying this stuff on. And then um, if I can find the link for it, I will link it in the description box. So let's just get started. First things first. I'm telling you, this is fresh. The UPS guy literally just delivered it. So first things first is these shorts. Oh, my stuff's falling over. These shorts, they're like two-tone shorts. I just thought they were like super cute. Obviously, I like the two-tone vibe. So I'm gonna try these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the shorts on. Let me bring you down. This is what they look like. I think they're seriously so cute. They're, they have like a lot of stretch to them, like a lot, a lot of stretch, but they're so comfortable. This is my favorite color. There aren't pockets, which I kind of wish that there were pockets, but there's not. But they're honestly so comfy, like little pajama shorts to wear around. I don't know. I got a 2X just because they, some people said that they ran tight, but I have a lot of room. So I don't know, but I love them. I think they're really cute just to wear around the house. So I approve of these. Okay, next is a top. This stuff is not in any particular order. I'm literally grabbing bags and opening them. So I have a lot of bachelorette parties I'm gonna be going to in the near future. So I bought this top, it's like a one shoulder. So I do have like a regular bra on and I'm gonna keep it on. I know this is not meant to have a bra, but I'm gonna tuck the straps in. I can already say I feel like it's gonna be a little big, but I try to go off the sizing charts, but it's weird. So I'm gonna try this on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I love this top. I am pairing it with a pair of American Eagle jeans. So let me back up. This is what the top looks like. It has a little ruching on the side and I think it is so cute. I do need a strapless bra for this because like I said, like my bra is right here, for example. If I had a little bit more support, this is what it would look like better, but obviously I'm not gonna wear a, like a regular bra with this. I would say it's a little big. I would size down next time. I'll make sure to put the size that I ordered on the screen, but I do really like this. I think it's so cute. Let me back up even more, especially with jeans, like just going to the bar, like having a good girly time. 
I like it. I like it and I approve. Okay, so the next top is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but we're going to try it. It's one of those tied haltery tops. So I'm not even going to try to describe it. I'm just going to put it on and we're just going to roll with it. So this top is a little risque. I'm just putting it out there. But like I said, I'm going to be going to these bachelorette parties and I need to look cute. So I just got a bunch of stuff from my sheet. So this is the top. Let's see. Let's pull it down a little bit. It's a little risque, but I'm here for it. And then this is the back. It ties. But like, hey, how's it going? Me and my cheap sheen top. And it keeps the girls in place, so totally not mad about that. You just tie it around the neck, and then you can just, like, lift them the way you please. But I really like this top. I would wear it with, yet again, like, high-waist jeans. Probably, like, darker jeans, not lighter jeans. But I think this top is so cute. And I think it was, like, like 8 bucks or something crazy like that. So definitely a fan. I think this is a really good size for me. I think it's actually pretty size inclusive because it does have some stretch in that band. So if you're someone that's like nervous about like pinched skin and all that kind of stuff, like this doesn't do that for you. So I am a fan of this. I think this is so cute. So I approve. Okay. So the next thing I got is a bodysuit which I typically like wouldn't go for because I'm so tall but this one had really good reviews and it's this green bodysuit I and mean, when you put it on it'll have like a I think it's called a cow's neck I'm not 100% sure I'm dipping my toe into the fashion world people so I'm gonna try it this isn't a 2x so I'm gonna tuck it into these jeans and let's see what it looks like okay guys so here is the bodysuit on tucked into jeans this is what the back looks like Okay, I'm gonna be 100% honest with this one. I would show you, but I will get demonetized and probably kicked off YouTube. This is giving me a major wedgie. I am way too tall for this. So I think obviously I'm gonna keep it. Like returning stuff to Sheen is just kind of like pointless, but I'm gonna keep it, but I don't think I'll have it buttoned. So like it's technically, like I'm giving myself a mass wedgie right now. Like it's buttoned in there, but I don't think I would wear it that way. So I love the little cow neck. I would wear like, I need to get a strapless bra. That's what I would wear with this. And then the straps are a little like flimsy. Like there's not a lot of support. So keep that in mind. So if you do like this, I want like a bodysuit like this. I think it looks great. I just think it needs a little bit of fine tuning. I don't know if I would buy it again. But I do think it's cute. The next thing that I got is supposed to go together, but I feel like the pattern is going to be like ridiculously crazy together. So the first thing is this little bandana top. And then it comes with shorts. And these are the shorts, which I also think are super cute. But I just feel like the patterns together are just going to look a little crazy. I'm still going to try it on. Like the set is intended. I did buy it as the set. So I'll let you know. But I don't know. I just... Like, I just feel like this is going to look real, real busy. Anyway, oh, just so you know, to put it out there, I got the gray and green shorts, this, and then the next, like, one of the t-shirts I'm going to show you all together, and it was, like, three for 19. They had a slick section, so I just decided, so I just decided to do that, and then I still have a few more things, so let me just try this on, and we'll see. So I think I have my first, like, semi-fail. I don't hate it. But I think it's going to take me a hot minute to find something to pair it with. So here's the fit together. Way too busy. I think it looks really funky and weird. Now let's separate it. The top by itself is cute. It's just like coming in like, like this is so much elastic, but it's kind of like folding here. And I don't really like that. Just a personal preference. But then the shorts are super cute and they're like super stretchy and no pockets again but I love these shorts like pairing this with like a basic tee I think would be super super cute so fan of the shorts the top meh. honestly I got this for the top so I'm kind of sad it just doesn't it's just not doing it for me 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below, but I don't think the top's it, sis. Don't think it's it. So this next thing is what I am most nervous for. It is a dress and I am, self-conscious isn't the right word because I have confidence, but sometimes in certain clothes, I'm like, Ugh, I'm scared. So this is one of those moments where I bought something that I am scared of because it's one of those like ruchy dresses. It looks kind of weird until I try it on. So I did bring somewhere up here. It's like a disaster. It's like a sheen bomb went off. I did bring Spanx upstairs because, you know, realistic, your girl wears Spanx with this type of stuff. So I'm going to put these on and let's just see what it looks like. This is another thing that I bought specifically for a bachelorette. So fingers crossed. Okay, so moment of truth. I think that the top needs a little bit like needs something. Bobby pin or something. I don't know. But I love the rest of this dress. I'm, it sucks that I have to like go so far back because I feel like it like loses it. But this is like a very cute little black dress. I am definitely a fan of this one. I was very, very nervous. But I think if I just adjust the straps, I think there are adjusters back here. Or I can get someone to sew it for me. But just like bring those straps up a little bit. This will be a dynamite. And obviously get some wrinkle stuff, but hello. I think this is so cute. I'm definitely a fan. She's a fan. Okay, one more dress because my friend Steph told me about this dress. It's just like a t-shirt dress that I think is gonna be perfect for fall. So I'm gonna go take this little SBD off and then put on this little t-shirt dress. Okay, so it's a complete change of pace and the type of dress, but this dress is seriously so comfortable and I can see myself wearing it with a little flannel or putting a denim jacket over it with some little booties for the fall. So let me bring it down and literally it's just like a cute little t-shirt dress. I am for sure a fan. It's pretty loose. Like it's not like clinging to me. I don't feel like anywhere, but it's just a basic t-shirt dress. I really, really like this one. You know, you can put like a little belt if you wanted to. Like I said, I'll probably just throw over like a jean jacket or a cardigan and call it a day, but I like it. It's a very flowy, comfortable, like if I want to be comfortable, this would be a dress and I could put some accessories and then just like rock this little t-shirt dress. What do you guys think? Okay, so the last two items I'm going to kind of like put together. First is this graphic tee. I think this is so cute. It's like distressed. Not distressed, that's not the right word. It's like tie-dyed almost. Has a little sun and a moon action. You know, for me, since I have hips, I like tucking my shirts in, but you can even do like a half tuck where you just tuck the corner and then just leave this out. You can do that. You can tuck the entire, well, you can do a French tuck where you tuck the front and then leave the back out. I do that at work. Or you can tuck the whole thing around or you can literally just wear it completely out for me, the way I am shaped personally, I don't like wearing shirts out like this because I feel like it makes me look like a just a rectangle and I have hips and I want to show that off. So this is something that I got and then I also got this flannel. So this is a very, very thin flannel. Okay. This is not like, this is something that I wanted it to look like legit. I got out of my grandpa's closet like brown this is total grandpa vibes but i'm here for it it's fall i think it's very very cute like i'm just here for it like straight up here for it so i have been wearing i don't know if you guys saw my last video but i have been wearing flannels like tied around too just for like a fashion statement because like when you tie them you get that hip and, and set the hip hippie action right here and then if you get cold you can put your flannel on but you always have your flannel there and i love that i love this look i can wear this flannel with this kind of t-shirt like literally anything so a million out of ten would recommend i love sheen's flann flannels and they're literally so cheap i did get a 2x in the flannel because i do like my flannels to be bigger just personal preference you guys if you want it like 
however, but I do like to tie them around my waist and I feel like the bigger the flannel, the longer the arms and the longer the like tie and it doesn't look like you're like forcing it around your waist, if you know what I mean. But that concludes my sheen haul. If you guys like these videos, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any items on there that like you're loving right now and I will check them out. If you do like videos like this, let me know and I will continue to do them because I love shopping, I love clothes, and you know, this is Balancing Life with Brie. It's a little bit of everything. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to subscribe down below and turn that notification bell on if you wanna see my lovely face every time I post. And as always, I just want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop lock and drop those pounds. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.